give this just a second to be sure I am live here. There we go. I want to make sure that I'm looking. There we go. I think I'm looking right at you. If I'm looking somewhere else, apologies. Facebook moves around a little bit sometimes. There we go. I think that's better. Okay, today I want to hop on here and give you three things that you can do to feel better. Because I know all of you are following me because you want to feel better. You've got things going on with your body and the emotional stuff, and it's all, it's all emotional stuff, I promise. And you are following me because you want to feel better. And here are the things that I want you to do. These are the things that will help you you have to decide what your level of commitment is to yourself. Not to me, not to anybody else. And if you find yourself saying, oh, I don't have time to do that, or I don't, do you have time to be sick? Do you have time to be in pain? Do you have time to limp because your foot hurts? Do you have time to give up not being able to play with your grandkids because your back hurts? Consider what your time is worth and that pain is not free. So I feel so strongly about these three things that they are in my private program when people come to work one-on-one -on -one with me. It is a whole program of work in addition to one-on-one -on -one live with me. Things that they do every day that I know will help them move faster and feel better quicker. So number one, I want you to journal 15 minutes a day. Sounds simple. It is. It is not, it is a way of getting the emotions that you're experiencing out there. And you can journal about anything. You can journal about what's coming up for you right now. You can journal about old stuff. You can journal about childhood, whatever you want. But get it out of you and get it on paper 15 minutes a day, every day every day. Now, there are even groups who are devoted to this. Uh, Nicole Sachs makes a living teaching people how to feel better by journaling. I think it's called uh, Journal Speak. I'm in, that, I'm in that group. I pay attention. Journaling works. Does it work fast? No. No, it does not. But it is an effective tool. Now, in my private program, there is journaling but it's journaling with my supercharge process, which changes that so that your brain takes that information in and processes it in a completely different way. It's like an emotional release on steroids. So, but regular journaling, you can do on your own, 15 minutes a day. Start now. The second thing, second thing that I want you to do is meditate. Yeah. You have to quiet your mind in order to make progress with anything. I don't think you can live a good life in human form without meditation. Do you have to sit for an hour? No, you don't. In my program, 20 minutes a day. You can either do two 10 minute sittings or one sitting of 20 minutes. You can do this on your own. Tapping is not a meditation. There's a difference. So don't confuse the two. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. If you wanna help yourself and you are committed to doing this on your own, sit quietly, close your eyes, take a breath. Then take another breath and then another. And you're meditating. Meditation is dropping out of beta brain state into alpha or lower brain states. It quiets your mind. That is something you have to do every day if you are committed to feeling as good as possible. Now there are programs out there that you can do. There are guided meditations you can do. Uh, I've probably even got one or two up on YouTube. Uh, you can do Zen 12, which uses, uh, I mean, it's not free. You can, it uses binaural tones, binaural beats to slow your brain frequency. It's very effective, it does work. If you have a nasty email campaign, I'm not a fan of that, but their product is good. So it's up to you what level you're gonna participate at with that. 
Now, the meditations in my program have things embedded in them that are designed to increase neuroplasticity for my clients so that we are building big, new, wonderful neural pathways for them to replace the old neural pathways that they had. So yeah, my, there is a difference there, but meditation has been used for thousands of years. It is an effective tool, and I recommend it highly to you. Start today. Second thing. Okay, that was the second thing. Third thing. Here's the third thing that you need to do every day. Tap. Tap. Now many of you are following me because you found me on YouTube and the majority of my videos are on there using me, you know, doing with me doing tapping because it's it's quick and it's effective. I want you to spend at least 20 minutes a day tapping. Now you can tap on your own or you can tap along with some of my videos. You can tap with other people's videos. There are tens of thousands of them online. 20 minutes a day. Yeah, it will these things will change your life. The tapping is a the is how you're going to process those emotions and get them out. Because the emotions that you're holding on to and some of these are from childhood are the things causing all of the symptoms that you're experiencing right now. And it doesn't matter whether you're having gut issues or foot pain or migraines or anxiety. All of those things have underlying stuff. But these are the things that will help you feel better right now that you can do on your own, on your own. Now, some of you are going, well, I wanna do all this stuff on my own. I wanna feel better quicker. I don't." You know, if you're gonna do this on your own, I want you to commit to doing those three things every day in those amounts for at least 90 days. Not, not three days, 90 days. Because that's how long it's gonna take you to get some good result. You gotta be persistent. For those of you who are going, okay, I want something that works faster, I do work privately. You may wanna have a conversation with me. These things are in my program, but we're meeting every week and making enormous, enormous psycho-spiritual shifts for you. We're clearing out all the old patterns, the old emotional things, the old traumas, the childhood stuff, all of those things. And these tools are the support system for you to move through that easily, easily. Plus there's lots of extra support for me in there. It just depends on, on what level of support you want. But if you're not willing to support you, then are you waiting for a magic wand? Stop waiting for a magic wand. Pull yourself together. Journal, meditate, tap. I just told you how to do it. Do it every single day and do it for at least 90 days. And see how you do. You can tap with any videos. All humans come equipped with the same set of emotions. Just pick one, it doesn't matter what it is. You'll have that going on. That's your challenge. Tap every day, journal every day, meditate every day. So start, begin today. Let me know how this goes for you. And I'll be back doing another live again soon.